In the fall of 1982, the Grand Haven City Council gave us the okay to begin reconstruction on an idea called the boardwalk. But we began in 1982 uh, building the boardwalk and we're able to enjoy that here in Grand Haven for 25 years. Originally the boardwalk was constructed with the community back in 1983. Uh, we've had some minor repairs since then. Uh, we even replaced the boards about 10 years later. It needed to have repair just from the normal wear and tear and so in the spring of 2009 we began another fundraising campaign and uh, were able to uh, have a complete um, restoration of the boardwalk uh, with the help of the community. In this 2009 fundraiser we involved the, the Grand Haven Area Public Schools and a lot of the local businesses. We um, sold bricks to people for a hundred dollars. Those engraved bricks are now in place on the boardwalk. Um, we were able to have all local contractors in less than 92 days, we were able to fundraise and rebuild the boardwalk. Um, one of the fundraisers that we did was a bumper sticker campaign, and we used WGHN as our sounding board, and people would call in when their um, automobiles or trucks were recognized with a sticker, and there were prizes. And So we just tried to do a lot of different things to involve the community and have people feel that it was their boardwalk. Believe it or not, we got it funded uh, very quickly, more uh, quicker than any project I've ever seen funded in, in our area. One of the things we like to say is that when you have a wooden boardwalk, one of the strongest foundations is when the federal government and the city government and the community works together. And we were able to do that. Um, the one thing we could not control was uh, two days of intense wave action, not just waves, but swells that um, damaged the integrity of the seawall. The waves were overtopping that structure, believe it or not, that's how large the waves were and the, and the wind conditions. And then at that time we noticed that there was about five inches of separation that occurred. We determined that our earth anchor heads have had uh, released. And what that is, it's the anchorage system to hold the wall from falling into the channel. And so once we took apart a couple of those earth anchor head locations where the anchorage system is connected to the steel sheet pile wall, we determined that they were all disconnected. In the fall of 2010, the Army Corps of Engineers began a reconstruction project uh, of about 450 feet or so of, of that boardwalk. So we had to remove all, all the uh, existing concrete and, and go down and splice into the existing anchors and then reconnect them. We're happy to say that we're up and running for the summer of 2011 and the place has been busy and um, you know people's bricks are back in place and we've been able to help our fundraising project by also providing red benches. On June 30, we're going to rededicate the rededicated part. And we want to honor the Corps of Engineers with a boulder um, that recognizes them for going above and beyond whatever normal could be. It's a destination for a lot of travelers. And one of our original goals back in 1984 was to provide something in the community where people didn't have to always go in their back pocket, didn't always have to go in their wallet to have fun with their family, with their friends. Um, they can come down on the boardwalk and be on the water. They can see the boats, all the activity, and it's just a relaxing place to be.